So good morning all of you. I am currently in the kitchen of the lab because the signal reception at my office is so bad. So I normally work in the kitchen. I mean I love this place because most people don't come here and it's very peaceful so I can work. Uh, so right now I am preparing my um, presentation for the thesis defense uh, and I have to like Okay, I haven't done like a presentation in a very long time uh, and my last defense was around 3 hours, it was really long but this one is like 15 minutes and then 15 minutes for questions so it's very short uh, so I have to prepare something good um, and currently I'm doing my best like you can see I haven't slept in like days uh, so I hope this will go really well. Uh, pray for me. Hi guys, so what I'm doing now is I am looking at my presentation. I already did the presentation I think more than three times for today and tomorrow I have my defense. So what I'm doing now is that um, I'm looking at my presentation in the perspective of a reviewer or a jury member and I am making a list of potential questions that they are going to ask me and then I'm going to write um, my answers to them and tomorrow morning I will be showing this to my supervisor and get any clarifications like if my answers are correct or not. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now and it's currently I think around 10 p.m. Uh, but we still have light because it's France um, and the sun sets around 10 p.m. So yeah. Okay, so I rehearsed, like I came to the lab and then I rehearsed. Um, it took me 11 minutes, but I think it's fine. So I did the presentation with my professor and uh, it was okay, but still I'm freaking out. So I'm about to have my lunch and then I will go and watch how others present. So I will learn from their mistakes. Since I am the last person to do the very last presentation, um, I think most people will be kind of tired and um, maybe they will not pay attention to my presentation so I have to make sure that they understand everything so there will not be any confusions. Uh, yeah, so that's the goal today. Okay, I finished my lunch. Uh, only for, let's say, like three and a half hours remaining until my presentation and I'm getting nervous again. So this is like what I use um, since fifth grade before an important exam or a presentation. Um, something, anything that would make me nervous. I eat chocolates. It's a scientific thing which I didn't know at the time. Uh, but yeah, I got like a lot of ch chocolates with me. Um, so I'm gonna have this right now. This is called Lind Lindo. It's basically like um, that's like a hard chocolate shell, and inside that's a filling. 
like this. Okay, so now I have to look presentable. So, yeah. Okay, so it's currently around 1.20 and I have to leave in like 10 minutes. And I feel like my voice is shit. So I came here to like um, drink some hot water. Yeah, I'm freaking out. I am freaking so much out. I don't know why because I have done like 40 or 50. I don't know. I have done like a lot of presentations before. But this is the second one I'm doing in France. In the first one it was like a group presentation. And uh, I only had to do the introduction. It was about economics. It was about economics. So it was not that much of a big deal. But... Um, an internship presentation is like like the biggest deal in a degree in France so I really don't want to mess that up um, and I happen to be the last person to do the um, presentation on the very last day so yeah before like back in the University of Colombo when they ask like who wants to go first it's always me um, so what I do is I finish the presentation as quickly as possible so that burden is like out of my head and then I enjoy other people's presentations but this time I have to be the last to do it so I'm uh, I'm not used to this so <laughs> I think that's why like probably I'm freaking out I don't know, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I'll probably ask a friend to record my presentation so that I can see like what went wrong so next year I will not do the same mistakes again. Um, and hopefully everything will go well and I also prepared like potential questions and answers to them and I hope I will not forget anything. So... That's it. That's it for now. Okay, so I am going to um, the ICC lab where uh, my defense will take place. It's currently around 1.35, I think. Um, there will be two more presentations before mine. One at 2 and one at 3. Mine is at 4. Um, I heard that um, one of my friends is already there, so I will probably go there and uh, maybe do a rehearsal with him because... We still have like 30 minutes more until they start the presentations. So, uh, yeah, I'm not that nervous now. Probably because uh, the uh, chocolate is doing its job. Uh, yeah, I hope like everything will go really well. Um, also, I'm using a mask uh, because there's kind of uh, an increase in the COVID patients here and I don't want to have it. Because I don't have the uh, car to retail it. So I don't want to get sick. I can't afford to get sick. So yeah, I will be using the mask. Except when I do the presentation. Because I want them to see my face. Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, I have to find the building where the defense will be. And, uh, I just came home um, so how did it go I wouldn't say it was good because I I mean I did the presentation by myself and um, with the supervisor better than what I did I think in the final one um, and also like um, I got asked questions a lot 
um, the defense like totally broke me I would say because I all I wanted was to go home and cry um, but in the end like uh, it's done the degree is finally done and we are free um, and hopefully I did not fail the defense okay so I finished my defense and I came home um, to be frank it was not great because um, normally uh, okay this is not my first presentation so um, normally I mean I was prepared for the presentation very well I even had a list of the possible questions you guys saw so what happened was that I didn't realize that there was a mistake in the in one of the slides so she my reviewer kept like asking questions about it she was bombarding me with questions she asked a lot I think but okay when compared to the last time last time they questioned me for like three hours so this time it was just 20 minutes so when compared to the previous one this is good uh, um okay so what i wanted to say that um my friends they were really helpful um actually like this is the entire point of my speech like the one i'm making right now um it's because um we are foreign students in another country and like we don't have um, our family here so what I wanted to say is that um, if you are a student and if you are going abroad you really need a support system because I was like completely like totally broken after the defense um, and my friends that they kept like talking to me like it was okay uh, you did well like that like from the beginning my supervisors were like they were really helpful they were really good to me and uh, they helped me like until the last moment uh, and I was really nervous you guys saw that and uh, when I went there uh, my friends were there and they were like relax relax they, they kept like kept talking and talking and talking and like um, I was kind of like laughing and smiling like at the very end like a few minutes before the presentation I was like totally relaxed and everything and I did the presentation but um, like okay I did the presentation but and then she kept asking and asking and asking I thought um, she was going to fail me um, so I was like totally broken at that point and then okay I wanted to go home and cry <laughs> uh, that was like um, my mentality at the moment I was like okay when this is done I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna cry <laughs> and then uh, I told my friends okay I'm not feeling well and then they were like one person like um, he was talking to me for an hour and like everybody was so supportive um, and then I thought that I should tell you guys this because if you're planning to come to another country you definitely need a support system like people who are there to catch you like when you fall um, I also wanted to thank everybody like it was pretty hard for me I mean um, I didn't think I was gonna last this long in France uh, especially because it's my first time um, being away from home I could say like okay like officially being away from home um, so I finally finished the M1 which is like a really big thing to me because I am here and we don't have like other Sri Lankans here and I'm the only person um, I somehow managed to finish it so that is like what I wanted to highlight is that um, living in another country alone is very hard because um, you are alone I mean there's nobody so it's really 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 important to integrate into the society and make friends like not just colleagues but friends like who will be there for you no matter what um, so with that I will finish today's video and uh, see you soon from another video with some interesting content